Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to another Hunky Dory TV. We have got a jam packed show for you today with lots of techniques. Um, but first of all, uh, let's say a little hello to Emily. Hello. 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 Um, she's got, we've just been discussing her hair. She's got her Rapunzel hair like free it's, today. It's, it's just crazy. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then over in Demonstration Station, uh, we've got the wonderful Natalie. Hello. Fresh from Hobby Maker. Yep. The early bird yesterday, weren't I you? I was. I actually liked it. I enjoyed it. Um, not something I want to do every day. No, we don't want to go up at half past four. No. She did say though that she wasn't tired. I was up at four. She, you, you went home straight away. We thought you were going to go back and have a nap. Went home no, straight away. No, straight away. So I think she just needs to get up at half past four every day. Four o'clock nope. every day. No, 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 no. It's not okay. Um, so today we are going to be doing a technique Tuesday for you. So our lovely Natalie is going to show you everything and anything about our fabulous prison bush markers but first of all let's have a look at this week's win it weekly would you like to win this our fabulous sporting silhouettes luxury topper collection we have got five to give away on friday but all you need to do is answer our question now it's tricky today natalie is it it is very tricky how long does it take for most people to decide if they will keep a gift or return it? Is it A, 14 seconds, B, 46 seconds, or C, 33 seconds? I've never returned a gift. You know, we, we had this conversation yesterday. I was like, I'm in none of those categories because if I'm going to return it, I wait too long and it's yeah, literally it's like two late. months and then it's too late. But also, like with a gift, hmm, how many people actually give you a gift and give you the receipt? Do you know what I mean? Mm. Unless it's like a big gift, unless like say when Sophie was born, people bought you like gift sets and then yeah. gave you like a gift receipt in case it didn't fit or things yeah. like that. Yeah. In that situation, it's maybe a little bit different. Yeah. But like, yeah, never. No. What about you, Emily? No. Uh, <laughs> she's a yes. Just, no. Do you not get any gifts? Are seconds. you in the fourteen seconds category? <laughs> well, I always keep them. You have to break them. You do, you do, but we were talking yesterday about uh, unusual gifts. Unusual that gifts. Buy you. Yeah, you know, I was saying like Mark sometimes buy me, buys me odd things that I'm like, why have you bought that? And you have to pretend you're like, oh. So what's the weirdest lovely? gift you've been given? Yeah, uh, me. Yeah. Mm, I don't know now. I'm gonna have to think about it. It's just, just things that I wouldn't expect. Maybe is what. I got a candle. That's not weird. I, love a candle. I do love a candle, but like one. I didn't get Dan a gift. I got a, can I got a candle, a mug, which I absolutely love, a big mug, so I do love that mug. But yeah, a candle. A candle's a pretty normal gift, it's, though. Yeah, but it was like a... Um, was, was it, it just it like for? a regular church candle kind of candle? No, it was massive. It was really <laughs> okay. good. But I can't remember what it was for. I don't now. know what the... What anyway, the I, didn't, I didn't get him a gift, so I was just kind of like... I'd have preferred to not have a gift yeah. than to just have a gift and they all had Tesco on the bottom so I knew that he'd just gone and got them like the night before which made me feel even worse because I didn't and I was also at Hobby Maker, uh, Hobby, was I at Hobby Maker? I was at telly anyway <laughs> one of the days so I wasn't even there for the day it was yeah weird gifts though yeah have you had any weird gifts anyway? we had one lady yesterday she said her husband bought her a lawnmower for Christmas <laughs> for Dan's mum's birthday and this was absolutely hilarious so Dan's stepdad said right these are my two ideas what should I get for her and one of them was binoculars and we were like well actually she loves bird watching yeah, like yeah. she'll really like yeah. binoculars but what Suzanne wanted was just like binoculars from um like some some inexpensive yeah. binoculars but Andy likes to buy like top of the range yeah, top yeah, quality yeah, things yeah. so they were very expensive binoculars and she she didn't appreciate the gift and I still don't know whether she knows she might know now she might be watching um <laughs> if he asked me and Dan what what we should get oh he said oh yeah she'd really like binoculars <laughs> but the binoculars did go did go back did they yeah um, they did go back yeah, yeah I guess if they were like a secondary gift and they weren't that expensive yeah maybe keep them but if they were the main gift there was it was pricey, the yeah, main gift go back <laughs> Okay, anyway, let's crack on. Shall we just have a quick run through our fabulous promotion that we've got uh, for you this week? So we are on Blooming Good Gifts. Um, so basically, the more you spend, the more freebies you're gonna get. So we're giving away uh, loads of crafty goodies, up to 60 pounds worth. It does end on Sunday. We have clarified the date. Uh, do you know what happened? Dan wrote Monday the 29th. 
confused us all. So we all said Monday the 29th. He's not even here, is he? Yeah. No, exactly. And it's not, it's Sunday the 29th. So it ends at midnight, Sunday the 29th. Let's show you what you can get. So if you um, place an order, any order, doesn't matter what the value is, every single order placed between yesterday and Sunday will get this fabulous Deco Large topper and base layer set. So you get uh, your base layer and you get that gorgeous uh, Deco Large uh, layers as well and your sentiments and things like that. So that's free with every single order, okay? Um, but Thank if you spend you. 15 pounds, you're also gonna get some Diamond Sparkles gemstones. It could be uh, any selection of gemstones. This one is our, <coughs> excuse me, this is our green shimmer. Cute. But you could get any of our fabulous gemstones. We have so many now. Um, it could be a complete surprise what you get. Then if you spend 25 pounds, you're also gonna get an adorable scorable pattern pack. No Ooh, way. This is different to the one yesterday. This is that gorgeous velvet one. So mm. right now we're almost half our money back in freebies. Wow. So you spend 25 pounds, you're gonna get your decolage topper, your diamond sparkles and your fabulous pattern pack. Again, it could be any of the selection that we have available on the website. You do not need to add these to your order. They will be added automatically by the picking team. If you spend 40 pounds, you're also gonna get a Dior design paper pad worth 9.99. So now you're over half of your order back in freebies. So you're gonna, gonna get 22 pounds worth of goodies, absolutely free of charge, added to your order. This one is our vintage maps and age paper. One of my favorite. Oh no, I love this one. If you spend 50 pounds, we're not gonna add another 10 pounds and we're gonna also include a little book. Wow. I know, so it could be so a square one, stuff. it could be a sort of rectangular one like this, it could be any of the selection that we have. So now your gifts are 32 pounds, but then we're gonna add a Whopper Topper Pad if you spend £75. That's quite incredible. Isn't it? So that's now taking our um, freebies over £44. And just think of all the cards you can make with this. If we bring I this know. back, you can make 144 cards with this. You can make, what is it in here, 40 toppers with this. It's just incredible, isn't it? All for free. And you've got your paper pad and your, your adorable scroll that scroll. you can use with it to yep, make your cards. Absolutely. And then if you spend £100, you're going to get a moonstone die included as well. Um, that's, that's worth 14.99. Wow, is it? It's awesome, isn't it? That's a lot of freebies. So they come just under 60 pounds. It's actually 59 pounds 43 that you're going to get absolutely free of charge if you spend 100 pounds. And we will add that to your order for you. You don't need to add them. Um, the guys in the warehouse are so up to date at the moment with orders. They're sending them out um, ASAP. It's just incredible. Um, so we have a few other offers available for you this week as well. The first one that we're going to look at is our Prism Craft Markers Complete Bundle. So this, do you know how much this should be? £149.85. Your craft markers. Uh, craft markers. That is, craft markers. that is incredible. Craft markers. <laughs> That's why Natalie's here. <laughs> <laughs> craft markers. Um, yeah, should be £149.85. Is now £69.93. That's what? a £79.92 saving. Is he okay? Uh, well, I don't know, but we're not going to ask him. Let's That's, just. That is an incredible saving. Isn't it? All 14 of your craft markers, all 14 sets. Is it 84 pence altogether? 82 pence, something so four, crazy like that. 14 sets and there's six in each, isn't there? Yeah. Emily, you have to do the maths on that. I know it's 80 something. I can't remember if it's 82 or 84. We've got browns, 84. We've got brights, we've got blues, we've got pinks, we've got reds. So we've got all the colours that you need, all the colours. Um, and I love the craft markers for a little bit more of an intense colour yeah. um, than you get with your water based mediums. They do give you a bit of a brighter, um, more intense sort of colour. I can't believe Gorgeous. all of that. I know, and you're going to get the handbook as well. Gosh, I've built a bit of a wobbly tower there. And of course, <laughs> all of the freebies. And your freebies. So what are you going to get? You're on £69.93. So if you add another £6, not even that, £5 something, you'll also get the Whopper Topper Pad. So you'll get £44 worth of freebies. As well. As well. Wow. That's amazing, isn't it? So you're going to get almost £200 worth of goodies for 69 well, for £75. That's amazing. incredible. Um, you do get the handbook as well. So that tells you everything you need to know about the pens, how to use them, how to do all sorts of fancy techniques, and then how to incorporate those techniques into your projects. 
Okay, we're coming over to you now. We are? We are. Oh. That's what it says next. What are we doing? I don't know, it just says demo. Okay. <laughs> um, well, today, today's show is all about the fantastic brush markers and what you can do with them. And I think the most important thing to talk about first is um, the correct tools to use because that is always, always the most important part on where sometimes you could get a product and you could try it out and you could think, well, this actually doesn't work very well. And maybe that's because you're not using the right cardstock. So our brush markers are really, really fun. They come in packs of, do you get, do you get 15 in a pack? 12. 12, I was close. Yeah, you were 12 close. 12 different colours and they're a really nice wide variety of colours. My favourite thing about them, here we go, is their dual tips. So you have an incredible brush marker on the end and this brush nib is really quite strong um, but also flexible at it's, the same time. Yeah, it's it's like a great firm. <laughs> middle medium. And then you obviously get a um, this sort of like needle tip as well. The colour is exactly the same, which means when you're colouring in intricate stamps, you've got um, the smaller end, which you can get in all those nooks and crannies, and then you've got the bigger end for the wide variety, um, if you're just sort of like doing a wash of the colour as well. They're really comfortable to use as well, actually. And I think for someone who um, maybe is just getting into crafting, then it's a great sort of way to start. If you've already got ink pads and you want to sort of expand the um, colours that you've got, then these are absolutely awesome. So, um, if you're going to colour them, the best thing to use is this watercolour card. And I'm going to prove that to you now. So, I'm just going to lay the colour down. And oh, such a nice colour. I'm going to lay the colour down on here as well. So, that is our ink me. This is our ink me, yeah. yeah because I want to show you that it is super, super important to go over this. If I want to make this a bit more darker and add like a an ombre layer of colour, then I can do that. And there's absolutely no change to this cardstock here. If I want to go back over this and colour it, then after sort of three layers, your cardstock actually starts to come away. So you start to get that buckling effect there, which isn't what we want when we're colouring. Uh, the great thing about these as well is that because they're water-based, you can get your handy um, water brush trio and you can um, bring the colour out. So say we have a stamp that we're wanting to colour, we can, let's show you actually exactly what I mean. So I'm going to take my um, little stamp here from our Essentials collection and I'm just going to pop this on. It's a little, Aww. a little plaster. A little um, Versafine is always the best ink to use with these as well and then let's go in with the colour so I'm just going to add colour to the outside here we've got a little bit of fluff on that pen just from that cardstock mm -hmm. that we used so I'm just going to add to the outside edge here of my cardstock and then with my water brush I can just go in oh, and drag this colour out it melts across and gives you that real um, watercolour feel which sometimes when you're colouring in um, a card and a design really suits it I think yeah. these stamps are essential for sort of watercolouring yeah, they work definitely. really really nicely with it so we can now go into this bit and drag all of that colour that we've created all the way out and you get a nice mix of different colours as well how many different colours do you get this out is of that? like a real teal colour this is number um, 38 and it's really really deep but actually when you drag that colour out even more it becomes more of like a sky yeah. blue colour so it changes the colours which means you're going to get more out of it now if I try and do this on my ink me oh no that's it not working it doesn't work at all so um, the best thing to use is always 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 our fantastic um, cardstock now you don't you can also use this to stamp your um images as well so i'm gonna just wipe off my ink from this stamp if you've got any questions yeah about let the brush us know. Markers, if there's anything at all you want to know or you want to see do let us know and we will absolutely um help you out or show you um, so for the purpose of this bit i'm going to bring in my stamping press now this is because if you wanted to stamp in your colors and you've not got colored ink pads this is the only sort of medium that you've got then you can absolutely do it but sometimes you just need to go in a few more okay. times than once so let's go over here now 
and we'll colour in our complete stamp with our ink from our pen. And it is water-based, so it does last a little bit of a while, yeah. but it can it can take some time. So this looks really cool on text sometimes if you want to oh, create yeah. an ombre look. And then you've got your image oh, in oh, all cool. of those colours. And there's so many colours of them. Let's just go in one more time just around those edges maybe just to bring out that color a bit more so it's not just coloring in that you can do with these you can stamp your images you can create beautiful watercolor backgrounds and there you go a little bit more um color and if you want to sort of hit different spots then just go across your stamp so this top bit here could be a little bit more vibrant using your stamping platform you can go in every single time and add that color until you've got like a finished look that you're completely happy with um, and then if you did want to sort of bring some color out although it is gonna make your stamp look a little bit funny I can just add just bring a, little bit. a little bit of water to my brush and shade these outside edges as well which is a good thing that you can create with that's cute isn't and it and do with these pens it will give you sort of like a a washed warp look to some of those images but if that's the look that you're wanting yeah. to go for just that slight touch of color then kind of basically doing the same thing here um you've got two completely different looks and and it's a reason why i think these brush markers are such a good thing to have into yeah. have in your stash i love them um, we do have an offer on the brush markers for you as well. We do. Um, we do, we do, we do. Um, so I'm just jumping ahead to, the, to one of the products, sorry. So instead no, of £99.93, it's £44.97. That's going to get you all of the pens, every single colour that we do. It's all six sets. Um, of the brush markers, sorry I've still got my uh, craft marker tower there, uh, all six sets of your brush markers, um, so 72 pens in total, again plus your handbook which has got loads and loads of top tips, um, techniques and things in, obviously we're going to show you loads today as well but um, just to have this to hand, you know, sometimes when you do get your pens out you're like, oh, I, don't, I just don't know what to do, there's loads of different um, ideas in here for you to try. Um, it's just a fabulous sort of partner to use with your pen. So it's just £44.97 down from £99.93. So that would um, take you almost to the £50 mark, which would mean you would get your decollage chopper, uh, your diamond sparkles, gemstones, your adorable silver pattern pack, your jewelry design paper pad, and your little book absolutely free of charge worth £32. How awesome is that? We also have our Prism Shimmer ink pads. Look at this, too big for one bag. Have to put them in two. Um, instead, oh, sorry, the tower's getting in the way now. <laughs> instead of £107.64, it's just £49.99 for all 36 of your Prism Shimmer ink pads. Um, that's just incredible, isn't it? Again, another amazing saving. That brings that's a £57.65 saving, and again, it will take you to the £50 mark almost uh, where you'll get. Uh, 32 pounds worth of free products added to your order um now are we coming back yeah what we can we do. Showing us? so i'm going to show you how you can use these colors now to be a like um, a paint palette in a number of different ways so let's just trim a little bit of this cardstock down so we can show you a few different things so i'm going to stamp the same image a few times. We're going to go in with our fantastic mouse stamps, and I've chosen um, a really cute little mouse here. So the first one. Oh my gosh, it's so cute! Up there, and they're so um, oh, so oh. good to colour in. Let's just switch that one over. Pop another one on here. They've got quite nice open spaces, haven't they, for colouring? Yeah. We'll do one on there. Oh, that one's not worked out. It's because my ink's not flat. Stamp another one. And you can use your acrylic box for a lot of these um, stamps. Obviously, if you're not a confident stamper, then our stamping press is the perfect sort of partner for yeah, you. Yeah, definitely. So, we can do 
this now a number of different ways because we have shown you that you can um, sort of bring your color out but you can also mix your colors and you can do that in sort of like two separate ways as well so um, let's show you first of all on here we can take our larger sort of gray here and I'm just going to cover all of this mouse in this adorable like little it's like a, almost like a, a thunder it's really nice gray. isn't it it's such a it, that that gray always reminds me of like the little um tatty teddy yes yeah it's really cute um and then what you can do with these and it's a it's really quite nice is you can actually go over with a darker color and create your own dimension and because it's water-based it kind of automatically sort of mixes those colors in together if you want to go back over with your lighter color and sort of blend that out you absolutely can do um, but it's just a nice way to create a little bit more depth with these um, inks and you get more Aww. of a, a concentrated color of your ink instead of um, using your water brushes which you you can do if you want to but we're just showing you sort of like different ways in which you can mix your color next oh up we're gosh. gonna we'll focus on this little, this little flower face. down here and this you'll be able to see it a lot um, more with this larger space so we can go in with that lighter color and then we can mix it into this can you imagine doing this on your ink me it just wouldn't work it wouldn't would it? work it really doesn't as well like honestly there is no way that you can get that mix of color from these pens using ink me it does not does not work so this is one way in which you can color in your stamps the second way um i would suggest to do it is to go in with the darker color like we did before with the um with that uh, plaster mm -hmm. go with the darker color where you want the focus to be and then we'll bring in our oh Gemma's asking our water pens to mix which these up. marker set would you recommend the brush markers or the craft markers it's really it's really a, it's a difficult question it is because it depends what you want them for uh, what your colouring levels may be at. Yeah. These are a little easier. I think so. To work with if you're maybe not as confident. So then we can bring our water in oh. and mix these together. Look how And you get exactly the that. same effect and you're getting that blend of colour again but at a different level. So I can bring this one in so you can see the difference. Yeah. Exactly the same colours, exactly mixing it in the same way. Oh, he's so cute. But it's a totally different finished look. It's quite incredible that you can achieve this yeah. amount of difference in your colouring. From the same pens. From the exact same yeah. pens, exact same stamp, just by sort of adding your water in. You can then, if you aren't someone who wants to fully colour in an image, say you just want to have it as like a... Um, a focus point on your um, page or you want a really watercolour washed version then use your mixed media mat and create your own colours maybe that grey is too blue for you maybe this pink you want it to be a little bit more red then because of the amazing base that we have on here we can mix these colours so I'm going to go in with like um, a brown into this grey to create like oh, a, nice. a deep colour and then we'll use this palette now add in a little bit of water not too much to start off with just until you get that effect it's kind of going like a, a greeny grey now actually and then you can oh. get a real wash with your um, stamps and this is a an effect that some people much prefer when you're colouring in your st um, colouring in your stamps this real loose wash colouring and then we'll bring in this pink how many different colours are you going to be able to create mixing 
and all we'll 72 colors together. do you Call know what i mean like, it's just gonna be amazing we do have a few questions now okay so shadia is asking which card stock we're using we're using the premier premium water premium card. watercolor yeah. there we go wrong word um so that's the card stock we recommend using with any of our sort of water-based coloring mediums like this uh, and then she's also asked so is your ink me only for alcohol markers i bought loads of it so we use the Ink Me for um, stamping. stamping um, for, yes, colouring with our alcohol markers, um, but sort of inking edges, bring, backgrounds and things. Let's bring another piece in because if you're colouring in, in this way, I'll show you, you, you can colour in yeah, you with can these pens in this way. So let's show you, let's show you both ways because then you're going to be able to see it for yourself. So we can colour this in and let's just grab this grey that we were using before. You can colour in and create beautiful watercolour effects because you don't have the um, texture that you have in your watercolour paper in this specific um, cardstock. You aren't going to get the sort of flow of water as easy, I don't think. Uh, but you can colour in your images and they look absolutely beautiful but you can see that the color is a lot more lighter yeah now that's because it's not um that's just because of the the cardstock and the way it's developed this is a really smooth cardstock yeah, it almost feels like it has a coating but it doesn't like, yeah it doesn't soak up the color so does it, it doesn't allow that color to be as vibrant and i've used exactly the same color exactly the same depth and i'm going over it now and you can see it's starting to sort of buckle yeah. my paper. It's starting to take the lining of the stamp out a little bit as well. Um, so I guess for sort of lightweight colouring with no blending. You can definitely you can use, use it. Me. Definitely. But this is quite possibly the sort of best yeah. use for it. And then I was going to also show you that if you just wanted to say this little guy here you just wanted to create a fun little background for him to go on now let's do pink because that's the best we can create our own sort of like smooshy backgrounds with this so just add in your color and as much as you want onto there and then we're going to use a spritz bottle and we've you've seen us do this with our ink pad so many times yeah. but it's a really cool technique that we can also do with this so i'm just going to add a bit of um just a light thing Shadia of water said she's got it. here. It's the texture, that was the key word. Thanks, yes. Nat and Anne-Marie. <laughs> You're very welcome. That's what we're here for on shows like this. To um, answer your questions. I'll just head over to YouTube, actually, because I'll just see if there's any chat over there because I haven't had a look. And then, so if you just want that image, but you kind of want like a um, a really cool abstract way, then you can do bits like this. Um, maybe you can do it a little bit lighter and then once this is dry as well We can add color over the top if we want to so let's just dry this off And I'm just using my heat tool to do this Just to dry that color Away ever so slightly to create my background oh, look at little face. And then we'll go back in with our um, Color just to color in our mouse And because this is also watercolor as well um, and obviously this is a water-based medium we've used to colour in the background. There's no stopping you now going in with your craft markers if you wanted to. If you want to mix both mediums and yeah. colour him in with your craft marker either. Um, but let's just go. Kirsty has said, um, should I, got, I got my brush markers first and I love that you can blend them with water, but now I've practised a lot, I couldn't live without my craft markers. It takes longer to get used to alcohol markers. I think that's a really good sort of description of it isn't it yeah. this is so easy to do that you could do this straight away but the blending and the techniques with the alcohol markers do just take a little bit more practice and if you don't want to use your watercolor and you just want to sort of have that um you just want to use them as like a a basic coloring pen yeah you would say these are definitely the the pens to go for um because you can mix the colors on top of each other like i'm doing now to to add that level of it looks so different in brown. A variety it? to it, but it just stands out so much more. Yeah. So you could do that now with your flower as well, and really finish this off. We could do a little, a little purple flower. Oh, Louise has asked. 
Oh, what's this? You've scored a spot on the front row. You're one of Hunky Dory Craft's most devoted viewers. Join How? the front row to show your support and make it easy to get shout outs. Is this Emily? Um, it must be. Um, Go you, Emily. Louise has just said, could you make the blank tag pads in watercolour as well as ink me? Um, I think we can absolutely do that. Definitely should do that. Yeah. I will. Um, that would be really cool, wouldn't when's it? When's our next, like, sort of stampy show? Uh, I can't, oh, it's the. It's from the Strong Photog one. Yeah. <laughs> And you know what? That would be really would, cool for it? this. I'm going to speak to Adam after the show. Let me write it down. So then you can add more colours, more layers, which you can't do this with your craft markers. Because once you've added one layer of colour on the black back, then you're building on top of on top of on colours. Whereas this, because it's water-based, you it sort of dries that main colour so the other colour sits on top. They don't mix in a way. Yeah. Um, if so that that's makes important sense. to dry your, your layers, isn't it? Yeah. So then you can add on different colours, create those different backgrounds. We can then go in with that lighter colour just to lift um, those bits where we've sort of added dimension onto there as well. So there's so many fun things for different ways of colouring. So let's bring them all in so that you can see exactly what we've done here. So this is just colouring um, and then blending the two colours together, which gives you a totally more vibrant look to your stamp. This is colouring using the two colours but using water to blend them out. This is doing the, the exact same te uh, technique on your ink me so it gives you a, a real lighter shade and then this is creating your um, crazy crazy backgrounds, um, smooshing them and then colouring them in and then this one is using your pens as like paint so popping them in here picking it up with the water um because that's kind of exactly the same technique but again it's different so all these different ways of coloring with these pens gives you completely different results how we'll do some fabulous. fun stuff next though oh are we yeah I'm very excited right we're gonna look at club gear and we're gonna come back okay i'm excited <laughs> um so uh let me just clarify as well elaine's just asked what the ink me card is good for so um we use it for inking um, as, as its name suggests, we did, that was its intention was for sort of inking, stamping on two. Um, you can do your sort of smooshy, uh, inky techniques on there as well because yeah, you you're can. not layering the colour on top of it. So when you're trying to blend the colours and things like that, it just sort of it buckles the cardstock a bit because it just can't take it as well as a watercolour cardstock. Um, but have a little play with it at home if you've got it and you can try it. You know, mm. sometimes. We'll I do smooshy on both and then you can see. Watercolour card with me yeah. when I'm telling and things like that. So you can't, it's just knowing the limits of the water and the blending that it'll take. So just have a try with it at home. Um, okay, so don't forget our Winnie Weekly. We um, have five winners um, that we will be giving one of our fabulous sporting silhouettes topper collections to. We're going to be announcing those winners on Friday. So our question this week is. How long does it take for most people to decide if they will keep or return a gift? Is it A, 14 seconds, B, 46 Probably seconds, or C, this. 33 seconds? There was a lady on YouTube, let me just find her because um, it made me giggle. She said, where is it? Uh, Kirsty, she said, I think that people will find it weird that I buy my partner a household appliance every year his, for his birthday. He got a food pro processor this year on the 11th of May. Well, if that's what you if want. If that's what you birthday. want, that's what you want, isn't it? I wanted a new Hoover. I wanted a Shark Hoover. And I was like, oh, Mark, please can I get a Shark Hoover for my birthday? And he was like, oh, you're not having a Hoover for your birthday. We'll just go and buy one. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it can work. <laughs> it depends. Um, so let's have a look at our club gift for you so we have oh, this is cute oh it's just so cute oh, it's, it's so cute so it's our meadow mice club gift it's oh, oh gosh we're really far over again today um it's our gorgeous meadow mice we have got four foiled and die cut topper sheets and four foil cardstock and four printed cardstock so that little mice that you've just been seeing in the stamps is featured in here with our gorgeous matastic cardstock as well um look at the boots i love 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 this collection it is just adorable it's so sweet the colors are so vibrant it's perfect for sort of summer crafting got the little strobes in there as well it, it is just gorgeous it's a dream to work with i love the little butterfly sort of they're like little balloons aren't they you've got the blueberries in there as well it is just 
beautiful and it could be yours absolutely free of charge all you need to do is pay the postage on it so you can just add it to your order you must be signed in to get it for free or else it'll come up at 9.99 because that's how much it's worth and um, you must be signed in add it to your basket if you're placing an order anyway and you're going to pay postage anyway you might as well um just pop it in anyway um but if you would like to make that go a little bit further we also have when i get to the bottom um, inserts and papers available so if you add these to we have a bundle so you will also get as well as the um, the card collection we've just seen you'll also get your inserts and your papers so you can see all these beautiful designs I'm rushing because I just want to get to the double sided papers because they're just gorgeous love 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 um, is it eight inserts one of each M? yeah there we go there we go and then look at the papers look how pretty they are they're absolutely gorgeous i love them so much um i love an all over flower print like this anyway look at the grass it's gorgeous isn't it and then you've got that beautiful sort of blossom on the reverse the wood's my favorite the wood is fab isn't it and then we've also got the strobes on the back of there as well this one i like as well like the fern and that one's got the bloobs on the back and we've got the sky oh look at the ladybirds they're just so cute and then we've got that beautiful polka um, it's not polka dot it's like a stitch line and then we've got another floral on the back there um you will also get your matastic adorable scorable included in there let me just shimmy all this out so you can see all of the different colors so you will also get that included in your bundle and you will also get a bite-sized little book so this is like a half little book um, so you can see it's still quite chunky because it's our matastic one but in here look at that look at them hiding in the flowers um, you're going to get all of these beautiful images look at them playing trampoline on the toadstools it's just adorable it really is gorgeous so for, for just 11.99 is it should it be 23.98 yeah. it's incredible value and not only that it is included in our blooming good gift so for 11 99 you will also get your free decollage topper if you just spend another three pounds you'll also get your double-sided um, i keep saying double-sided because it says ds instead of diamond sparkles you'll also get your diamond sparkles gemstones in there as well so you'll get be getting four pounds 48 worth of freebies and you're saving a huge amount on your club gift as well it's just awesome it's just free stuff all the way isn't it it's what we like okay oh no stamps stamps these are the stamps that Natalie has just been using. Very oh, gorgeous. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. So we've got our little Mice to Meet You, which has got, I used this one last week. Um, was it last Monday when we launched it? With the gorgeous snail there on the toadstool. And he's got such a fabulous pattern. Let me turn it around so you can see the back. He's got such an amazing pattern on his shell. He's just gorgeous. And you get the little bumblebee on there as well. Um, then we have got, oh, mousing around. So cute, isn't it? And then you also have the one that Natalie's just been using, the Mice Cup of Tea. Um, that's got the three different teacups on there. It's just adorable. Um, they're eight pounds each, um, or they are three for two. You can grab all three uh, for the price of two, or you can mix and match with any other stamps on our website. It's completely up to you. Okay. Okay, so next Coming up, back. I'm gonna show you some layering techniques. Now, oh. it's a really cool thing that you can do with these um, pens to build up like different backgrounds and dimensions. So I've got two different ideas to show you here. We're gonna do like a little um, um, bu uh, <gasps> bubble background. That's and so then cute. we're also going to make like a little wreath and then I'm going to show you how you can do some really fun brush lettering on top of these as well. So let's do the bubbles first of all. Now this is a great way of using the um, thinner end of your um, pen. So I'm just going to go in here. Look at those freehand circles now. And just add some different sized I guess you could circles. use your draw around your nesting dies if you weren't confident yep. enough. Yeah, if you were a little bit worried about how this was going to work out, then your nesting dies are a great way to do it. But I just thought, you know what, let's just go crazy. Just so, go first of all, I've kept them quite spacious and away from each other. And you want your smallest um, water brush to do this. And then, like before, we're just going into those colours and dragging that out to give you that nice sort of water-esque that that look that you you see with bubbles yeah. where it's got that sort of nice color on the outside and then you've got 
a real sort of prominent outline. So I'm going to start off with those ones and then I'm just going to give this a little this blast so with cute. the um, with the heat gun to make sure that that first layer is all dry. And then we're going to go in with a purple and this time we're going to go over Ooh. those lines and sort of mix them together. So let's do a largish one here that just mixes into those two. We'll do a big one here. I've asked Adam. I've emailed Adam about the uh, watercolor stamp tag. Uh, watercolor tag pad. I'm excited to see what he says. I know. Me too. Shall I check? See if he's replied. He is very busy. He might not have replied yet. So add in in that purple, and then I'm going to go in with a green as well. I think green will really make Ooh. this pop. So let's just before we do that, let's just go around this purple, bring in that colour. Because what you'll get here now is a nice sort of like mix of the two colours too. Um, but it's a really fun way to make your background. And you can do this with like um, line drawn flowers as well if you want to sort yeah. of just line draw lots of different shaped um, doodle flowers. You, it does not have to be precise at all. No. But then just like layering them on top of each other. And the beauty of this is that your colours do um, stand sort of like really nicely and proud on top of each other. There's no sort of obvious mixing of colours but it's such a fun way of creating really cool backgrounds so just going to blast that again and then we'll go with the green and then we'll add a little message on here or maybe a name oh we no Gemma said that two of the mice stamps were out of stock <gasps> what? it's because they're so cute wow they are very very cute so then I'm going to go just even more randomly now over these sections here oh, sorry guys. to create to more can we get them back in stock i don't know we need to st speak to stace get some reordered who knows and then another one in this little gap here and you can honestly carry on as much yeah, as you, you want with this you could have up, you? the whole piece colored in um but it is just such a cool way of creating backgrounds so oh, you can layer different colors onto each other you can put some glossy accents on so that would look you. cool to create a really cool finished product i love it so this is way number one the other way i'm gonna actually lay the same color on top of each other so let's leave this now it looks um, ace. Because we kind of get the idea of how you can create really cool backgrounds by mixing those and layering all of your different colours together. The next one, we're actually going to use our um, mat for, our mixed media okay. mat, because we're going to lift up this colour. I've already started with like my lightest colour of green. Um, and then you do want to have quite a bit of water on this. And then I'm just going to go over here um, with these colours. I'm just nice. going to go in and add a bit more of a darker colour so you can see it coming together a bit better. And just layering all of these up, creating sort of like a, a leaf shape. Not yeah. being, I'm not being really specific with the way I'm doing it or the, the size of my leaf or the shape of this would be another Molly. one with um, like flower petals would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, we can add them on once this is dry. Ooh, Show you how you can use that. Exciting. So I'm going to leave that level there. So just dry this off now and they'll sort of stand on top of each other. And it's just a nice way of creating like freehand imagery like this would be quite cute at Christmas time yeah with like little berries on like yeah. layering we'll all of your gemstones or something you for the berries if you wanted and then you could use like one of your big sentiments or yeah. one of your essential sentiments color that in in the same way so a bit more darker now on here and changing your color up as well and Just using that. all the different varieties that you've got in your collection really I mean, that's just two two greens you've used there. Three. Three greens. Three different greens. And you get oh my gosh, it's millions of greens. Let me see. Because 
you get not only the green pack with the 12 yeah. in, but then you've got in your pastels and in your darks, you've, you've also got, got darker colours. Eight greens in the forest walk. We've got four in the antique dreams and we've got three in the pastel uh, in the rainbow pastels. So you've got loads of different green. And then obviously every single one of those has got loads of different shades yeah. by watering it down as well. So And adding all of loads these different effects. At. So I think we've kind of got our little wreath that go in there. So dry that last colour off. And then what colour flowers should we do? Well, you know I'm going to say pink, but I uh, go, go for, uh, I don't know, orange, orange and yellow. Orange and yellow would look cute. I've got an orange. Here's a yellow. And now because this is watered down, when we do this technique, it's really going to stand off here. So um, you can just lay your pen onto here. Cute. Let it pick up that shape of your nib. And you've got little, little flowers. Little flowers. And you can do them depending on how the way that you pop your pen, yeah. you can create different sizes of flowers. Um, the amount of time you leave the yeah. um, pen on there is gonna create more gonna vibrant create like flowers. Almost like chunkier ones, I guess, as well, because it'll soak up a bit more. That looks so cute. So let's do some more, um, I've got a big orange one here. Um, there's a couple of questions from Anastasia on YouTube. She's asked if we have a reinker for the ink pads. We don't do a reinker. Um, Purely because the price of the ink pads is so good, we just do the single colour uh, ink pads that we have. Um, so it's just repurchased in a new one. Um, we were quite concerned of how much re you need to get your Right in the middle. So this is a really cool um, thing that you can use your brush markers for. And if you're into sort of calligraphy, script lettering, anything like that, um, I'm just going to mark out it almost looks like where I want it to be. Um, a lily lily pads and flowers looking down do you know yeah it's really cute it actually um okay what color should we do this in mm. let's go let's go for purple oh nice let's do this one this nice color so your pens are really good for this because obviously they have with your nibs when you depending on how much pressure you put down depends on the sort of coverage that you're going to get um, because it is quite flexible this brush nib you can get really thick lines and then obviously when you go upwards to downwards you also get different levels of strokes which means it's really good for your brush lettering because you can get that nice curve of the um, nib to create that really sort of fancy lettering. If you're someone who isn't super confident with that though, that's where this side comes in because you can just write it how you want it to be. And because it's the same color, we can then go in yeah. with this and then add it just to add your where you on. want it to be. And then you can create that same look without sort of being... Without having to worry about the pressure and things. Yeah, it, yeah. or being... A prof not professional but being someone who is really good at that sort of level of lettering so I actually think I prefer doing it this way because yeah. you have more control of how it's gonna look so let's pop that in here me Stacey and Kelly went to a brush lettering course I remember this once, yeah in um, I think it was in Liverpool and it does take a lot of practice to get used to the pressure and the ups and downs and how to hold the pen and things like that so i just love doing it like this are made just using your prism yeah brush this markers. was a blank piece of cardstock like five minutes ago and now it's like a little <laughs> it's like a little, a little work message. of art i mean we could put it in a little frame yeah put it on the desk or something could be a little thank you note anything couldn't it like you say little christmas cards that could maybe be like noel in the middle or something so cute um so there you go a little, a little bit of love. We love that. Thank you, Natalie. You're welcome. Um, I hope that has given you lots of inspiration. I know loads of people are absolutely loving the demo, so I do hope that you've had lots of inspiration. Um, just a couple of little questions that have popped up. 
Uh, Myra's asking, loving the demos, I'm still confused on which card to use for watercolours and which for alcohol markers. So our Prism Craft markers, which are our alcohol-based markers, work really well on our Ink Me cardstock. Um, you can also use our Colour Me cardstock, um, but we don't actually use that much anymore because no, we've just sort of reverted no. to Ink Me, haven't yeah. we, for it. Um, and obviously your Ink Me is great for uh, using your ink pads on, sort of creating your smoothie backgrounds, inking your edges, things like that. Um, card blanks and bases. Um, our watercolour card is the best to use with your watercolour pencils and your brush markers because it just gives you more flexibility with the cardstock. We'll soak up that water and that colour and we'll just make it a lot easier to work with and it won't sort of buckle and things. So I hope that helps Myra. Um, I think that was, I think that was it. If there's any questions that we haven't answered, please do um, drop us a message or let us know and we'll absolutely get back to you. That's no problem at all. Um, TV schedule, uh, our lovely Pauline is on today at 2 p.m. with the Delightful Roses decoupage collection. And then at four o'clock, she's gonna be having a look at those uh, Moonstone swing card dies again. And tomorrow, it's Dan and Cats. That's not the normal uh, dream cat. team. That's it's what it not, says. Is it? It's normally Nat and Cat. I'm a bit it sad is. about that. It is. It's Dan and Cat. Very cats. sad about that, actually. But we have got Triple Cat this week. We do have Triple Cat this week. <laughs> Everyone is in for a treat. Yeah, so Cat's in Thursday as well and Friday. So we are um, we are being treated to Triple Cat. Um, but yeah, they will be here tomorrow with that gorgeous, delightful Rose of Decoupage collection. And that is all for today. Thank you all so much for watching. And we will see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.